Hey, we have here today another integral. This one's from MIT Integration B 2022, regular season problem 13. We have the integral of zero to one, square root of one over x, ln one over x dx. What I did when I was looking at this was I kind of fooled around with a lot of different substitutions. And what I want to try is a u substitution. I'm going to call this my u, so I'm going to call just my u equal to ln one over x. What I can do is solve for x, but first if I get a value for one over x, just with um, just with log properties, we can see that one over x is gonna be equal to e to the u. And so we can get the reciprocal here to solve for x, so x is gonna be the same as one over e to the u or e to the minus u. Then I'll take a derivative to get our dx. Derivative of e to the minus u is gonna be e to the minus u, bring a minus out front, du. Okay, now I think I have everything I need for my substitution. So first, so first what I'll do is I'll plug a one in here. So one over one is one, natural log of one is just zero. Then we'll plug a zero in here. Okay, one over zero is heading towards infinity. Natural log of infinity, this is gonna be heading towards infinity. Then for the square root here, I'm gonna write this, I'm gonna write this as one half power. The value for one over x is gonna be e to the u. And then for natural log one over x, we have just u. Then for our dx value, we have this, it's just gonna be minus e minus u du. Well, I can take this minus sign here, bring it out front of the integral and use this to flip my bounds. So instead of going from infinity to zero, we'll put this to zero to infinity. And then I wanna do some simplification here. I'm gonna just distribute this half in here to each of these terms. So rewriting this, we're gonna have our integral, but we'll have u to the square root of u, we'll write as u to the one half. And then here we're gonna have e, distributing the half and we'll have eu over two, e minus u du. Well then I can just combine these terms and add exponents, so let's do that really quick. Adding the exponents here, we're gonna have half u minus one u is gonna be just minus half u du. Now at this point, I'm just gonna to wanna to do another substitution. I'm gonna make my substitution for this. We're gonna call t equal to half u. Well then, u is gonna be the same thing as 2t, and du is gonna be 2dt. So let's do this substitution, plugging in infinity in for u, half infinity, still infinity, plugging a zero in, it's just zero. For u, we have 2t, so I'm gonna have 2t to the one half, and then here we're gonna have e to the minus t, 2dt. Well then, I can bring this two out front of my integral, and then here, I can take a square, two to the one half is gonna be square root of two, so I'll bring a square root of two, so I have all my constant terms out front. And then here we're gonna have just t to the one half, e to the minus t dt. Okay, now at this point, we've got a very different looking integral here, and we could try integration by parts on this, but rather than use integration by parts, I'd like to notice the similarity here to the gamma function. So we have this formula for the gamma function over here on the right, and you'll notice it's pretty much perfect. We have our e to the minus t, we get the same bounds. Now, what about this um, exponent on the t? Well, our exponent here is a half, and we're talking about, here we have x minus one. Well, to get that into the same form, what I can do for my one half, let's just write that as three halves minus one. So doing it that way, our x value here is going to be three halves. So using this formula, we can rewrite this. We have our two square root of two up front, but the whole integral is gonna be the same thing as this gamma of three halves. Now at this point, you can kind of almost leave it this way, okay? We have kind of a form of a solution right here. But now typically we don't wanna leave the gamma function in our solution like this, so, so the question is what is this gamma of three halves? We do have a way to equate the gamma function to factorial. So we have this formula, gamma of n is gonna be the same thing as n minus one factorial. Now that would be really easy if our input here was an integer, right? But in this case, using this formula, we're saying that gamma of three halves is the same thing as one half factorial. We do have a way to calculate the value for half factorials. And so rather than go through all that, what I'm gonna do is we'll use some known values. What we can do with this, so if gamma of three halves is one half factorial, we can write this as one half times minus half factorial. Minus half factorial is gonna be the same thing as gamma of one half. And there's a known value for this, square root of pi. So what we can do is put this back in here and we know that our gamma of 3 halves value is just gonna be square root of pi over two. Putting this in here, we're gonna have two square root of two 
times square root of pi over two. These twos are gonna cancel here. So for our final solution, what I'll do is I'll put this under one radical and we can write it as square root of two pi. Okay, that's it. Thought it was a really interesting problem today. I like this one. If you need any more information on the gamma function or the half factorial or the minus half factorial, I'll provide some links in the description. You can check out those other videos. Thanks again for watching today. Have a great day.